Hello everyone, this is Legomation Studio, back with the second, second, Glatorian, Glatorian, review, review! Today, we're reviewing Malum, Bionicle Malum. This Glatorian is awesome, he is kind of short, but I'm gonna go over that all later. Anyways, we've got the Austin Canister, just like I said in the last one, it's like the Unica and the Mystica, this black, with the bumpy side, with grip. And the, uh, bottom part that clips on to the top of the lid. So anyways, we've got the Thornax ball in here, the Madu fruit people say it is. And Malum, he's like in a pose, kind of just standing there. But in the background. Dun, 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 dun. Mystery person. Some guy is standing behind there. If you know who it is, and I don't mean think. I mean, no. If you know who it is, post it in the comment section below and say if what who you think it is. Um, it's mysterious because I've looked at all the other pictures and never seen anyone like this in this pose. I think it's Maxinui. She knows nothing, guys. I'm sorry. She she knows nothing. Okay. <laughs> so. Yeah. Anyways, here he is. He's awesome. And, and the boring stuff. 7 through 16 year olds, like they all are. 59 peaches. Pieces! Mm. Pieces. I'll have a peach. <laughs> and it's mo four more pieces than Grish. And it's a decent amount of pieces. Actually, quite a lot. Bionicle logo. Bionicle.com logo. Got the top. Yay. The cool design. The rigidity here and then the circles. I don't know what this um, represents. If you know what it represents, post it in the comments. And I want you guys to send me more actual messages, not comments on my channel, okay? Comments are supposed to be like good review, not, hey, should I buy this? That should be a personal question you send in messages. Anyways. Bionicle logo. We got the game, action figure game, making an awesome tutorial coming up. We got Malum. Awesome stance. My then dad. we got the Thornax launcher, what it does, how to use it, and Ranu. Ranu, the Agori that you can bring in to fight with him. How to put him in, and the bio code M41UMZ. Again, doesn't really apply to his name, but whatever. So, yeah, he's awesome. He's awesome. He's awesome. Let's build it! Awesome! Got the awesome thing to open it right here to make it a lot easier. Well, that was fast. Instructions. With the how to play the game. Arrgh! How to play the game! Okay, Glatorian poster, forgot to do this on the last review. All the other Glatorians. All the other Glatorians are here too. Pharaoh and Skirmix, can't find him in stores, but maybe he'll come out later this year, like in January or February. Okay, how to play the game is all right here. Malam and Gresh, hey, those are the guys I just reviewed. <laughs> Funny. Okay, tells you kind of how to play it. I'm we'll making an awesome tutorial later coming up. Anyways. We've got of new pieces. The mask, which is a helmet. Helmet, sorry. Um, kind of small. Then the Iron Man head. Then Thornax Ball. Madu Fruit, as some people say. And then, to shoot with it. The Awesome Claws. And yes, this part is a rubbery, the, well, kind of rubbery, it's like bendy. The random pieces of rubber that they have, like, on things. But they're pretty hard rubber, so it's not, like, bad. Anyways, cool flame design there, really good for mocking. Um, Mantac shoulders and, um, car par chest. Calma feet, so really not a, not a lot of new pieces in this set. Um, life counter. So really, those are all the new pieces. Um, 
Then we've got... Oh yeah, these are also kind of new, actually. They're like the Hordika headpieces, except they're straight and not bent. But maybe they've been used. Don't be a smart Alec and tell me that, oh, they've already had those because that'd be just rude and you have no life and you will never amount to anything. Okay! Torso piece, cool kind of orange color, really light, light orange. Then the Vaki limbs. Call my feet. Um, the, uh, the Visorak, uh, and, and like, uh, Metru, onto building. Malamus? Short. Uh, he's still awesome. He's got all this cool buffness and like strong Hulk. Now I don't know why people say he looks like Iron Man. Does he look like Iron Man to you? Yes. Oh, he does have kind of the same colors a bit, but his face doesn't look like Iron Man at all. When you take this off, it does, but with the mask on, it does not. Of course not. Anyways. He's very cool. He's got the claws, and these actually attach to the claws, so that's cool. I actually didn't really know how that would work out, but it did. Then, the Thornax launcher goes onto his shoulder. Not too fond of it, but it was an interesting way to connect it. Shoot it, and that's how it goes. Ow. So it's cool. And he's awesome, and he's got the feet here that are the same, but these have the Kalma feet, the extra attached things. I didn't get why they put those here. It kind of takes all this room up. But also, as my sister agrees, he needs a longer neck, but he doesn't, so he's short, very short. In comparison to Gretsch, to Gretsch, um, uh, yeah. He's small. I can't see you! That means... can't really see over his shoulders. Compared to... And then... Comparing it to Tuma. <laughs> it's like a Matoran. A gory villager. Uh, a gory? Shouldn't you go back to your work? I'm not an Agori! Ah! Anyways, story is that he got kicked out of the arenas because he was being, like, too powerful and fighting, t like, wrong and, like, cheating even, I think. So now he just wanders the desert, and that's why someone's stalking him. Okay. So, if you want to go out and buy him, just like the regular price, twelve ninety nine, thirteen bucks, Toys R Us, back to the life counter, tutorial coming soon. I hope you've enjoyed this review. This is Legomation Studio, signing off.